week Christmas tonight. Right, tonight we're not doing a distro, and we're not doing anything like that whatsoever. Tonight we're going to go back and look at Guadalcanal and a bit of Flack, you know, the free lossless audio codec system. You know what I'm saying. And we'll go through it with you a little bit and show you my new favourite music player, Guadalcanal. So first, I'll go up in the browser, as you can see. Do that first. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't I? Now, I've got some stuff in the bookmarks. This is my um, one of my test machines, so there's no bookmarks in there as such. But what we're going to do, we're going to the home of Guadalcanal. Someone will correct me on the pronunciation of this eventually, I suspect. But hey, the website is really, really nice. Nicely laid out. Tells you all you need to know. As you can see, plays MP3s, OGS, FLAC, Windows Media, Wave, MC, MP3 and Ape. Probably a lot more too. The crossfader, nice, like it. I'll show you a bit more about it later, and lots of other stuff here too. But if you want to know about it, you can go and have a look at the website. Okay, got a PDF menu too. If you want to download it, nice. I like it. Okay, next back to my bookmarks, and we'll go down to the flat page I've saved here for you. Now I'm transferring all my CD stuff to FLAC. Now it's available at HTTP flac.sourcesource.net forward slash format HTML. Now if you want to know about FLAC, just go here. It will tell you every little inky dinky 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 bit about it. At the end of the day, if that's what you really want to do. All I'm going to say, FLAC is better for converting for me because I like my audio. No good in doing MP3s, no, no good at all. Also, there is this thing I found here, as you can see. Text only, this one's made years ago before there was a front end for a flack for Linux, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty. But if you want to read it, go and have a look. It's up there. It's up there. Blah, 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 or blah, 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 blah. So, what are we do next? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do next. We're going to open up the player of GuadaQ. And as you know, it's my new favourite one. For a simple reason, it's got all the stuff I really want to do in it. Apart from one little thing, or obviously I may not have found it yet. As you can see, I've got a little playlist going there at the moment from my last play. Okay, it's from my last play. Now I've got a smart play on at the moment, or a smart pick, or whatever it's called. And basically, if, when you choose a track, it will choose other tracks that fit it. So if you're listening to, say, dubstep at the time, it'll do it, and stuff like that. Also, the other thing is, you have to update the library manually at the moment. Okay, you have to update it manually. But you've got all the other stuff there too. Now if we go to preferences, we'll go to the top and start from there. All this stuff you've got to both show splash screen on start. Well yeah, that's alright, I'll have mine there. And you can do other stuff like restore positions and in queue library. That's my library. Yeah, well, always last time I looked. Playback. Now here you can do some lot of stuff here too. You can do the smart play modes from four tracks to ten tracks or twenty tracks, maximum amount of tracks. Silence detector is a, I've got not enabled at the moment because I've got plenty of tracks, that's okay. And it gives you a decibel to use if you really want to. And you can show notifications. Crossfader, this is what I was talking about before. You can configure the crossfader however you want to. So you've got out, length, in, start, in, in. And basically all you do is how you want it to fade into your next track. You do it like that. As you can see what I mean. Look. Really easy, isn't it? So if you want a, a nice audio player, so you, say you've got um, some people around, you just want some music in the background, but you just want the music player to do it itself, so you've got a netbook or something, do it like that. Now, record. Right. I can't find a way of ripping from within the program, so as far as I know, this is recording from a microphone for podcasts. Okay? Please correct me if I am wrong, but I don't think I am at the present time. So, next one we've got is Audio Scrubble. So, we click on there. Now, I'm not going to put my username and password in, so I'm not using it enough yet, and I'm not really happy with that. You get lyrics as well. You can do lyrics. It gives you lyrics. I'll show you that a bit later as well. You've got your filters here too. Podcast. You can check for your podcast that you want to listen to. So, mine would be SuperDuper Podcast at SuperDuper.com or something like that. Commands. You've got Press Zero here, so I would, if, in theory, I would say it would be able to rip from zero and do it for, from within the program, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so anyway, go to view. You can save your layouts, load your layouts, and delete layouts. So make it look like how you really want it to look, which is good for me. Or is it? No, because I like it how it is at the moment. It's not perfect. Not perfect. Let's see, I'll click on the VU meter thing there. Now, it works, but slowly. So that's one thing that's got to be worked on. But that's not down to me, really, is it? So as you can see, I've got smart mode on, which is the thing that actually picks the tracks for you as you go along. Nice. But you can also have randomise and repeat playlist and repeat track. So that's also nice too. And you've got a bat, but I'm not going to click that because this little thing comes up in the middle. 
out of breath, out of breath, out of breath. So anyway, let's go. I put some new stuff on. I've ripped into flak using the sunder. Best of pure garage. Now some of these you won't know, and I can't give you audio for obvious reasons. And it'd be doing the law when it breaking the bleeding law. But they sound really nice, loud, and they sound pure. Now, as you can see, they're in fleck, so the KPS or the bit rate is really high. But there's a downside to that, which I'll come to a bit later. But if you like your audio, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this won't work for stuff you've got off the web, by the way. So if you've got uh, iTunes or 7 Digital or eMusic, won't work unless they're in fleck to start with, okay? So I'll click the next track, as you can see. It's the Way 99. It's chosen the next tracks for me. You can just go along all night, you just load one track up and off you go. Or you can just randomise it. But I really like this player, I really, really do, and I think it needs some more stuff. Now, up to have got Library, Radio, Last FM, tells you about the stuff that's on there. Lyrics, they can't find lyrics for this, obviously, because it's so UK, should we say. UK Garage, you know what I'm saying. I've got no playlist because I've not played with it enough. It's one of my test machines. The browser just shows you all the tracks, well, not the tracks, all the the CDs that you've actually downloaded. So yeah, back to the library. Anyway, all I'm going to say to you is, you're going to have to try this music player, because I find it really super duper. And I think you might like it too, actually. It just needs some more work and more people to download it and give it a go. So I'll put a bit more work into it. At the day. I'm going to go to my home folder. No, I'm going to my music folder, idiot that I am. Now this is the thing with flag. Now I'm going to open up one up here. If I put my uh, cursor on it, you can see it's 31.6 megabytes. Now that's seven times as large as an MP3 at 320. All right. But as hard drives are so cheap now, especially storage ones, for a terabyte is 40 quid, so it must be 30 in the US. No big deal, really, is it, really? You can do a nice big download, you know, nicey, 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 nicey. Lovely. Well, I'm enjoying it. I don't know about you. But all I want you to do is give it a good go. If you don't like it, just get rid of it. Sneaky Linux is going out. I see you later.